Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Priscilla Fromm. And I'm Austin Scherer. Today is Monday, December 16th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Yearbook distribution in May seems like a long ways off, but the yearbook price will only be $75 until New Year's Eve. Prices go up to $90 January 1st, locking the lowest price of the year before it's too late. You can buy your book online through the school website or through the link in the bio on yearbook's Instagram. If you registered for any AP exams, please pick up the AP booklet in the hallway at Student Services. It will get you ready for exam day and includes the 2020 exam schedule. The CHS golf team will be holding an informational meeting on tomorrow, December 17th in HN2 during both first and second lunges. If you're interested in playing golf this year, it is important that you attend this meeting. If you're not able to make the meeting, please swing by HN2 and talk with Coach Dreyer. Link leaders are hosting another Cram with the Pack session Wednesday, December 18th from 3.30 to 4.30 in HL3. Stop by and get tutoring to help you finish strong on finals. Tutors will be there to help 9th grade students with Spanish 1 and 2, Math 1 and 2, Biology, General Science, and World Geography. Access to Chromebooks will be provided along with snacks and water. See you there. Now let's check out our Wolfpack Artist of the Month, Alex Bravo. Hello, I'm Alex Bravo. I'm in 11th grade and I'm the Artist of the Month. I've been kind of like drawing for as long as I can remember, like probably like around five. I started just drawing the same stuff over and over again, but then I really got into it. But then I only really like was able to develop any like talent or whatever, like late middle school. But I've been doing it since. So usually just sort of like things that I'm like thinking about or things that are like close to my heart will sort of like inspire stuff or just like really like circumstance. Like uh, this one was sort of like just like thinking about sort of like the, like the nature of like time and memory and stuff. Just like different like concepts. I kind of like keep my ideas to myself but I'll, I'll like reach out to like other people and say how does this color work? or what do you think would like go nice in here, but a lot of it is just sort of like me like internalizing and thinking about what I want for the thing. My favorite part of being an artist would probably just be being able to express like an original thought or idea that I've had and just sort of being able to connect in that sort of sense. So just like when it comes to like my art, it's just more so about capturing the, es the essence of like something, be it like a place or an emotion or whatever, just sort of like really honing in on what makes that thing unique or whatever. I probably just would say like do what you like. You can draw like what you like, but also experiment with other mediums, see how like uh, you can experiment with, with like different artistic techniques or elements. In terms of career, I definitely want to try to pursue something in art. It would be great for me to be able to like make a career off of it or like present stuff at like a gallery or whatever. This is my final project at uh, this one summer program that I went to like this year. It was the first time in a program that I had started using charcoal, which is really different, but it was like a really nice experience just to be able to like manipulate the medium and stuff. And so like this is actually like an actual statue, it's at um, Stanford, and so I like drew it from life and like taking inspiration from that and then also talking with my instructors was really productive because they showed me like similar artists to like the kind of vibe that I wanted to get or whatever, which is really cool. Congratulations Alex on your spectacular artwork. BSU will be selling candy grams during both lunches. Come and spread some holiday cheer and purchase your candy gram for one dollar today. They will be also having a shoe drive through December 29th. Please bring any shoes that you can to donate to HP10 before or after school. BSU will also be hosting their first annual Kwanzaa celebration night on Wednesday, December 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Culinary Arts Booting. Current 9th and 10th graders, do you have post-secondary goals of going directly to a four-year college after you graduate from CO? Do you want or need additional support to make those goals become a reality? If so, AVID might be a good fit for you. If you're interested in learning more about AVID and how to apply to our AVID program at CO, come to an informational meeting tomorrow, December 17th at 3.20 p.m. in Ms. Ramos' classroom, Library 1. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Ramos. 
The Computer Science National Honor Society is officially a club and invites you to join. If you're interested in anything related to computers, please see Mrs. Hale in room HF2 during either lunch or after school on Tuesdays and Fridays. Before we go, let's check out your counseling announcements. Seniors, did you submit your college applications? Are you checking your email? A few colleges have emailed our counseling department to follow up on applications that were submitted without all documents required by their admissions department. This is uncommon and exceptional follow-up on their part. They are doing it because they are not getting answers from the applicant. Most colleges will not do this and you will simply not be admitted. If you apply to a UC, they will be doing a random sampling of applicants this month and may email you to verify information on your application. There will be a deadline for this information of January 31st and if you don't send the information, your application will be withdrawn. So once again, read your email, check your portals and follow up. Seniors applying to CRC in the fall of 2020. We will have another application workshop on February 6th. Sign ups will start after you return from break. In addition, if you have any questions regarding registration or financial aid, drop in appointments will be scheduled for January 26th with the outreach specialist. I may email you verification of information in your application. Verification information. So bars. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Priscilla Fum. And I'm Austin Scherer. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Chocolate, Chocolate Covered Anything Day, Day Wolf Pack. <laughs>